Welcome to another video. For today's video, we are going to have a practice problem on how to find the equation of the tangent line. Let's say for example in number 1, find the slope and the equation of the tangent line to the curve y equals 3x raised to 4 minus 5x cubed plus 6x plus 8 at x equals 1. So to find the slope and the equation of the tangent line, we need to identify the value of x and y. Since x that is 1, we are going to find y using the value of x in this equation. So let us have y equals 3x raised to 4 minus 5x cubed plus 6x plus 8. And let us substitute the value of x. So we are going to have 3 times 1 raised to 4 minus 5 times 1 raised to 3 plus 6 times 1 plus 8. So let us simplify. 1 raised to 4, that's 1 times 3, that's 3. And 1 raised to 3 is also 1 times negative 5 is negative 5. And 6 times 1, that is 6 plus 8. And then, 3 minus 5, that's negative 2. And 6 plus 8, that's 14. And negative 2 plus 14, that is 12. So the value of y is 12. And let us find the slope. So to find the slope, we need to differentiate this equation. So let us have y equals 3x raised to 4 minus 5x cubed plus 6x plus 8. So the derivative of 3x raised to 4, so let us write as 3 times 4x cubed minus 5 times 3x squared plus 6. And the derivative of x, that's 1. And the derivative of 8, that is 0. So let us simplify. 3 times 4, that's 12, and then x cubed. And negative 5 times 3 is negative 15, x squared plus 6. And then to find the slope, let us substitute the value of x. So we are going to have 12 times 1 raised to 3 minus 15 times 1 squared plus 6. 1 cubed, that is 1 times 12, is 12. And 1 squared is 1 times negative 15 is negative 15 plus 6. 12 minus 15, that's negative 3, plus 6. So the slope is positive 3. So this will be our slope. And to find the equation of the tangent line, we are going to use point slope. That's y minus y sub 1 equals slope times x minus x sub 1. And x that is 1 and y that is 12 and the slope that is 3 so let us substitute this one let us have y minus this will be y sub 1 that is 12 equals 3 times x minus x sub 1 that is 1 so let us write as y minus 12 3 times x is 3x and 3 times 1 that is negative 3 so let us move negative 12 on the other side it will give us y equals 3x minus 3 plus 12. And then y equals 3x negative 3 plus 12, that's positive 9. So this will be the equation of the tangent line. So this will be our answer. On number 2, find the slope and the equation of the tangent line to the curve y equals 2x cubed minus 6x squared plus 5x plus 8 at x equals 2. So let us identify first the value of x and that is 2, and the value of y. So to find the value of y, let us substitute the value of x to this equation. So we have y equals 2x cubed minus 6x squared plus 5x plus 8. So let us have 2 times 2 raised to 3 minus 6 times 2 squared plus 5 times 2 plus 8. So let us, let us have... 2 raised to 3, that is 8. And 6 times 2 raised to 2, that's 4. And 2 times 5, that is 10, plus 8. So we are going to have 16 minus 24 plus 10 plus 8. So let us have 16 minus 24, that is negative 8, plus 10, plus 8. So we cancel 8. So the value of y, that is 10. And then, let us find the slope. 
So let us have y equals 2x cubed minus 6x squared plus 5x plus 8. So to find the slope, let us differentiate this one. The derivative of 2x cubed, that is 2 times 3, that is 6x squared. And the derivative of negative 6x squared, that is negative 12x. And the derivative of 5x, that is 5. And the derivative of 8, that is 0. And to find the slope, let us have 6 times the value of x, that is 2, square minus 12 times 2 plus 5. So let us have 6 times 2 raised to 2, that's 4, minus 12 times 2, that's 24, plus 5. And then 6 times 4, that's 24, minus 24, plus 5. So we cancel this one. So the slope is 5. And to find the equation of the tangent line, let us have 0.2 and 10 and the slope of 5. So let us have point slope, that's y minus y sub 1 equals slope times x minus x sub 1. So let us have y minus 10 equals 5 times x minus 2. So we are going to have y minus 10 equals 5 times x is 5x and 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. So let us move negative 10 on the other side it will give us y equals 5x minus 10 plus 10. So the equation of the tangent line will be y equals 5x. We can answer this one. This will be our answer. On number 3, find the slope and the equation of the tangent line to the curve y equals square root of 3x minus 1 at x equals 5 over 3. So to find the slope and the equation of the tangent line, let us identify x and that is 5 over 3 and we are going to find the value of y. So to find y, let us substitute the value of x in this equation. So let us have y equals square root of 3x minus 1. So let us have square root of 3 times the value of x that is 5 over 3 minus 1. So let us cancel 3. It will give us square root of 5 minus 1. And square root of 5 minus 1, that is square root of 4. And the square root of 4, that is And let us find the slope. So let us have y equals square root of 3x minus 1. So let us rewrite this one as 3x minus 1 raised to 1 half. And then let us find the derivative of this one. So let us have a chain rule. So let us have 1 half times 3x minus 1 raised to 1 half minus 1. And then the derivative of inside the derivative of 3x minus 1, that is 3. And then, 3 times 1, that is 3, over 2. And then, 3x minus 1, 1 half minus 1, that is negative 1 half. And to eliminate the negative sign, let us write this one as 3 over 2 times 3x minus 1 raised to 1 half. And then, let us have 3 over 2 and then let us change this one to radical form square root of 3x minus 1 and to find the slope let us have slope equals 3 over 2 let us substitute the value of x that is 5 over 3 minus 1 let us cancel 3 it will give us 3 over 2 times square root of 5 minus 1 and that is 3 over 2, 5 minus 1, that is 4, and the square root of 4, that is 2. So therefore, the slope is 3 over 4. Now, let us find the equation of the tangent line. Since we have 5 over 3 as the value of x and y, that is 2, and we have the slope of 3 over 4, let us have y minus y sub 1 equals slope times x minus x sub 1. And then, let us have y minus 2 equals 3 over 4 times x minus 5 over 3. So, 
let us multiply 4 on y minus 2, it will give us 4y minus 8 equals 3x and then 5 times negative 5 over 3, that's negative 5. And then let us move negative 8 on the other side, it will give us 4y equals 3x minus 5 plus 8. And to simplify, let us have 4y equals 3x negative 5 plus 8, that is positive 3. And then divide both sides by 4. So therefore, the equation of the tangent line is 3x over 4 plus 3 fourth. So this will be our answer. On number 4, find the slope and equation of the tangent line in the equation x squared plus 3xy plus y cubed equals 15 at x equals 1. So let us identify first the value of y in order for us to find the slope and equation of the tangent line. So to find y, let us substitute the value of x in this equation. Let us have 1 square plus 3 times 1 multiplied by y plus y cubed equals 15. 1 square, that is 1. And let us move on the other side. It will give us 3y plus y cubed equals 15 minus 1. And to simplify, let us have y cubed plus 3y, 15 minus 1, that is 14. Now, how can we find the value of y in this equation? So let's say, for example, if we have y, that is negative 1, that is negative 1 raised to 3, that is negative 1, plus 3 times negative 1, that is negative 3, it will give us negative 4. And then, if y is 0, the value of x is also 0. And if y is 1, the value of x is positive 4. What if the value of y, that is 2? Let's say 2 cubed plus 3 times 2 equals 14. Then let us check 2 raised to 3, that is 8. And 3 times 2, that is 6, equals 14. So therefore, 8 plus 6 is 14. So meaning to say, the value of y, that is 2. And then, let us identify the value of slope using this equation. Let us have x squared plus 3xy plus y cubed equals 15. And to find the slope, we are going to use implicit differentiation. So the derivative of x squared, that is 2x. And then, let us find the derivative of the product 3x and y. So the value of u, that is 3x. And the value of v, that is y. And product, that is u prime times v plus u b prime. u prime, that is the derivative of 3x. And that is 3. And v, that is y. And then u, that is 3x. And then v prime, that is the derivative of y, that is 1. But whenever we differentiate y variable, it is always associated with dy over dx. And let us simplify. We have 3y plus 3x dy over dx. So let us write here. 3y plus 3x dy over dx plus the derivative of y cubed, that is 3y squared dy over dx. And the derivative of 15, that is 0. And let us move 2x and 3y on the other side of the equation. And then let us factor this one, that is 3x plus 3y dy over dx equals negative 2x minus 3y. And then let us divide this one by 3x plus 3y. So this one is squared, sorry. And then let us cancel this one. So let us have dy over dx. And then let us substitute the value of x and y in this expression. Let us have negative 2 
and x will be 1 minus 3, the value of y, that is 2, and then 3 times x, that is 1, plus 3, and then y, that is 2, and then square. So let us have negative 2 times 1, that's negative 2, minus negative 6 over 3, plus 2 squared, that is 4, plus 3, that is 12. And then, negative 2 minus 6, that is negative 8. And then, 3 plus 12, that is 15. So this will be the slope. And then, let us determine the equation of the tangent line. So let us have y minus y sub 1 equals slope times x minus x sub 1. So let us have y minus y sub 1, that is 2. And then slope, that is negative 8 over 15 times x minus x sub 1, that is 1. 15 times y is 15y. And 15 times negative 2 is negative 30 equals negative 8 times x is negative 8x. Negative 8 times negative 1 is positive 8. And then let us move negative 30 on the other side. It will give us 15y equals negative 8x plus 8 plus 30. And then let us have 15y equals negative 8x plus 38. So let us divide both sides by 15. Let's cancel this one. So the equation of the tangent line is negative 8x over 15 plus 38 over 15. And this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.